cream pot stand again. Just wanted to show you, I don't know if you can see this, it's snowing again. And I can't do anything in the garden. I'm just going to go do some seed swapping with my friend. to show you and I mean this is how I save my seeds it's not the best system but this is the reality of it it's a mess these are all my seeds some of them are really old and then this is why I put what I'm thinking of sowing for next two weeks to a month that's my system right now <laughs> so I've got some tons in Dink Hill however oh, these are quite thin because my plant is still very young. I've moved house recently and my plant is still under a year. So I did a cutting for my previous plant, which is quite mature, and put in, in containers and in the ground. So I managed to get a little bit of cutting. Unfortunately, his one was damaged. He had cutting from a couple of years ago, maybe more sent that to him but it was damaged during the the big freeze his was really beautiful and lush and i'm hoping it can get a lot more plants from these um the ones i sent him before had thicker stems but this plant is not quite mature yet but i'm hoping it does root easily but it's best to send more than one cutting just to have a higher chance of success um, <laughs> one thing we are both trying really hard this year, this is okra seeds. So this was from uh, Nigeria and I've tried growing okra <laughs> so many times. I managed to grow one plant with two okra, but that was from seeds I bought here. So I thought, why not try it? This is going to be my first time. So. This is obviously dried and it's really big. It's beautiful. I think each of them have, I don't know, 50 seeds or something like that. So I'm going to send my friend this and I hope he gets success and I'm going to try. We're going to give it a go. Um, I don't, I don't really grow sweet corn, but I do grow maize. <clears throat> and I saved my own seeds from 2020. A friend gave me um, sorry, this is just how I saw the story. Gave me maize. I don't know if these seeds are viable. And this is going to be my sort of. I did sow um, maize. I can't remember the outcome. It was just a blur in 2021. But um, so we're going to have a go. And hopefully he tries this. I think I've got about 25 seeds there. So hopefully she get at least 20 plants and then he save his own seeds and start growing that. So I asked him if he wanted a marigold. He was like, no, I've got loads. But he was interested in calendula. So I thought they were the same, but he's right, they're not. I don't know the difference. If you do, please let me know. <laughs> so these, uh, it's not a lot left in there, but enough to send. A friend, so he does. He's not interested in this. I'm. It's gonna be my first time sowing these, because I'm trying to increase my the flowers in my garden, and they make good companion plants. So I'll be sending him some of these. I've sown them before, and they're beautiful. And I know the flowers are edible. I don't know if that's the same for this. Um, I can make dry the flowers and make, um, like herbal oil and all sorts from that. That's the reason I bought this initially. Okay, so maybe I might film myself packaging this to see in case you guys want to transport plants, live plants to friends. These are easy enough to send. But I'll see if I can film that for you. So let's do this. Okay. 
Okay, guys, I am. This is my idea of what to do. I've just taken paper and I've sort of folded two edges in. I can put the seeds in there. Yeah, and then when I'm done, I'm going to use a sellotape and tape that just so nothing falls out. And for my Tontin Dean Kill, I'm going to wrap it. I will show you uh, the bottom with damp tissue, put it in a ziplock bag. Um, a plastic bag and in the process of doing that look what I got let's carefully do this so I've received the post from him today he's ahead of me by the way so I'm, I've ripped it up but I thought I'd better film this I have to be careful I don't want to turn it upside down because it's got my personal details but this is what a child does when they're trying to open a Christmas present <laughs> I didn't open it like nicely okay already i can tell there's a lot in there i don't know what this is it's exciting you open the biggest thing first don't you? okay we had a oh, jerusalem artichokes you know i used to grow this when i had an allotment in essex oh fantastic um i wasn't so keen on the taste but that was many years ago so I'm going to give them another try. Um, I forgot about that. We had that conversation. So I'm excited to try this. Yes, I've, I've grown them before. So yes, before you say, oh, he's sending way more seeds than I am. My brother came to visit me in 2021 and I gave him that whole jar and he's raided it before and I've sent him stuff before. So I don't want to repeat what he already has. So I'm just sending him new things I know he doesn't have. Like he's got in like um, Egyptian walking onions that I got sent I sent him and when he raided I was like do you want butter beans he was like oh yeah I got some from you the last time I was like I think I gave him the whole jar to look through uh so these are the only things I can think of that's probably good he probably already has that but I just thought I put that in that's new for me uh he's very um I'll put the link to his channel below he tries a lot of stuff so this is saving me a lot of money, by the way. Um, I'm looking forward to sewing some of these things. Tree cabbage. Isn't that the same as Tontin do? Dean kill? I don't know. So I wanted wild garlic because there's a spot in my garden on the hedge that I think this would be perfect for. And I've had it before. It's delicious. Um, burdock. Yes, that's something I wanted. This is new for me. Oh, it's falling out. Let's be careful with that one. Flax seeds. This thing is really... Okay, this is something I've always wanted. And I've asked and asked again to be sent this by my mum. But uh, she keeps forgetting. At least I got okra this year, so I'm grateful. Cape gooseberry. Don't know what that looks like. But excited. Courgette. I think this is the one with a funny shape, isn't it? I know. And this is the one I'm really excited about because I like, I'm trying to do, develop a perennial garden, not not well, a permaculture garden. Obviously, I'm going to always have annuals, but I like things that just sort of come back. I think with this nine star, you have it for three years or something. Um, I've managed to keep my Tontin Din Care going for many years now obviously I've just moved so I've got new cottons from my old plants uh, so yeah this is fantastic I'm really excited oh my goodness it's a shame that um, <laughs> it's snowing outside because you know what I'm itching to do put stuff in the ground but anyways I'm just gonna carry on packing my stuff to him as well I have um, sent up interesting stuff to him and he's gone through my seat uh, but with gardeners, I don't know, you tend to buy the same thing year in, year out and try the occasional new things. I am trying to include more flowers in my garden, like um, foxglove. I did have that in my allotment before, but I don't have it in my garden. Um, dahlia and stuff like that. So thank you for this, dude, for everything. Ooh. And I hope this works. Okay, some of these things are completely experimental. I don't know if I have the space to grow everything. <laughs> but we'll try. 
and I hope he likes what he gets from me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm just now gonna show you how I do this and the seeds. I might speed it up. Okay, I think this way it's leak proof. Um, hopefully, <laughs> my seeds are quite big apart from maybe the lemongrass. And I've got so the next one is this. Let me go get everything needed to do that. All right. I've got some damn tissue. So, dude, <laughs> I'm sure you know, but this bit goes down for this one because it's no leaf to indicate. Um, I think everything else has leaf. Maybe I should take just so it doesn't lose too much moisture. And I hope this one does well for you and lasts you a really long time and that you share it with lots of people when it gets massive. Okay, do that wrong now. Focus. <laughs> I did, I've done this before, so I just sort of focus. There we go. Yeah, that's better. So we almost want to wrap this. Okay. Yes, it is yeah. because you can literally stick it in the ground up to the very top so if and if you're getting most of it wet it's fine before you get now I've just got I found this it was about to go upside into this open just to give you a double protection this will help keep the humidity in there okay and then you know um, Put it in here. I'm hoping to send all this today as well. I'm gonna also get it as fast as possible. Okay, so I've got that. That will be okay for a couple of days. Um, and all the time it's been in water as well. I only just cut it but well, half an hour ago. So we've got maize, calendula, lemongrass, okra. And I'm sure before the end of the growing season, we'll probably exchange some more stuff as we get it, as we acquire it. Um, I really hope they all do well for you. Thank you so much. I can't wait to visit you on radio, <laughs> Sid Catalog, but you've kind of done a good job for me, I think. Um, Jerusalem artichokes, I hope it grows on me because it's trying to be self-sufficient. I think it's a fantastic crop to grow. It's quite resilient and I think it's quite beautiful as well. And I'm excited to grow. Um, I like the staple idea as well, but it's just with the tiny seeds. I think there was just one of them. Everything else is actually really fine. Just one of them was sort of spilling out. So he's done a good job. Good handwriting, I can actually read that. My one is quite simple, <laughs> it's not a lot, but you you know. I hope this was helpful to someone. Have you got a friend? Can you swap some seeds with them to save money? Can you send some cottons to them? Um, and this, I think this is the way to do it, really, honestly. Um, happy gardening <laughs> if you like this video like subscribe all that good stuff and hopefully i'll see you later bye